outcome of the uh, Board of Elections uh, this morning? It was exactly what I've been saying all along. I know no one has been covering that, but I said that I have way more than the signatures require. I know because we work really hard. We had volunteers also collecting signatures, and I knew I knew that we have more than enough signatures. That's what I've been saying from the, the from day one. Lieutenant Governor, the congressman said that you're a victim of discrimination, and if you were someone else of a different color persuasion, that this wouldn't this wouldn't happen. Do you agree with the congressman that you're oh, being discriminated? Well, I want to ask her. Congressman. What I said her, she doesn't have to speak for me. She, she doesn't have to speak for me. I'm just asking. If she doesn't have to speak to me. You spoke for you. No, yeah. we're getting her reaction. I'm just asking if she agrees. Do you, do you think you're a victim you of discrimination? I believe I've been um, beat up for three, almost four weeks, and honestly, for something that it turned out to be nothing. I think there should have been a little bit more of fairness on how I've been treated through this process. Would you say nothing? There are there's names of dead people on some of the forms and people who say they didn't sign. So with all due respect, it's not nothing. And I think you've but, acknowledged but that. But we already have someone that admitted that the person lied to uh, my campaign, lied to me. So that was already established. So I don't understand why we needed to go through this um, process. And let me tell you, even though as painful as it was, that only my signatures were sent to uh, be uh, reviewed when everybody had signatures that were rejected. Mr. Carlson had over 200 signatures rejected. No one is reviewing his signature. I have been the most better candidate in this race. And I'm the one that has the strongest record of working for more than 12 years serving the people of Providence, the people of Rhode Island. And I have been, I'm, right now, I'm the most better candidate in that ballot. You Lieutenant push Governor, back at all of this. Uh, do you think you're going to overcome all of this? Of course. The voters know me. They know the work that I've been doing for more than 12 years serving the people of Rhode Island. And they know what my ethics and standards are. It's unfortunate that my opponents have been using this to create a mistrust in the, in the um, election process. They're using some tactics that I'm, I'm ashamed to see other fellow Democrats using those tactics. You said in your Lieutenant, statement. Excuse me, excuse me. Lieutenant Governor, um, there's the possibility the election, the, the, the campaign, the signature collectors. Have you had conversations with each and every one of them? Um, obviously, there's the, po the potential for the subpoenas following the primary. Now, you say you have enough signatures. You've had several hundred signatures tossed out. What if in the event that there is something that is found that the, the signatures that they've collected are in fact valid? Yeah. Congressman. Don't, Ex vic don't victimize. No, 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 no. no, no. We're not going to allow, I don't know sir, who you are, sir, but we're not going to allow you to victimize the victim. Sir, okay? sir, no, the she's been fully vetted. She's a, a decent woman. We we this trust is, her. Me, sir, we're here. Right we're here to support You're her. Here in our state, no, no. Sir. We're we're here to support her. We're here to support her. And now and now that sir. she that the board of elections said that there's nothing there, she's gonna proceed with her campaign, and we're not gonna engage in a conversation where she's gonna be victimized again. Sir, enough. Enough of that. Enough of that. She's yes. a decent Why woman, and she has. Question. Eloquently, I may say at that, she has spoken eloquently, and that's why we're here to support her and to push back in what I perceive to be discriminatory practices that are not uncommon for women like her across the country and right here in the state. Lieutenant and we're here to support her and to make sure that she wins on the fifth. That's what we're here to do, to push back and ensure she becomes a member of Congress, as I have. Lieutenant Governor, as a woman, do you appreciate being interrupted by a man when I have a job to do? I was asking you for a question. You're doing your job as a reporter, and you're, being inter you're getting interrupted often as a reporter. That's happened to all the reporters. That's correct. You can, ask, you, you can ask your colleagues here. I would like here. to ask you your yes. question. Have you had the conversations with the individual signature collectors and, uh, about the potential that they could get subpoenas? I'm not having any conversations with any of the uh, signature collectors. Right now, we just have to wait for the process to continue. What I hope is that we all can move on and concentrate and talk about issues, the issues that the people care about, the issue about fighting for Social Security and Medicare, fighting for a woman's right to choose, fighting to remove guns, uh, guns that are illegal from our streets, mm -hmm. making sure that we remove assault weapons from our streets. That's the conversation we should be talking about. Let's talk about issues. Let's stop this madness about signatures because you already got it double double check first by the board of canvas and the secretary of state and now by the board, the board of election i think you have enough proof if you don't want be to believe me i think you have double proof 
of what I've been saying, that I have way more signatures that I need. We only need 500, and I have over 700 signatures. Thank you so much. You're on the I'm on the ballot. I have been on the ballot all along, and Thank this you. process wouldn't change yeah. that. So I don't understand why we, we needed to go to this process to now and don't wait until after the election. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. To support Sabina Matos for Congress.